you've got Boris Johnson on one side of the Atlantic and Donald Trump on the other. And both of them are showing the kind of leadership that the quiet Australians, if you like, the quiet Britons, the quiet Americans, demand of them, putting their country ahead of the woke and the weak leadership that seems to be the alternate. And yet here in Australia, we've got the bureaucracy firmly in control of our country. The woke and the weak leadership at multiple levels of government, with very few exceptions, is delivering really quite a poor performance. We are seeing right now the Australian government, unlike the British, who are really now fired up about the future, unlike the Americans who, well, are either fired up with hatred or fired up with love for Donald J. Trump, here in Australia we are just managing our decline. We don't seem to have the kind of vision, the 2020 vision, that I wished we had. We need some passion. We need some ambition for our country. And you know what a lot of Australians have said to me over the last six weeks whilst I've been just getting around, talking to people, a bit like Scott Morrison did last summer, is that they want that real passion, ambition, leadership. Take a few chances. Get off and get on one side of the fence, Prime Minister. That's what people are saying. The bushfires, well, they were horrendous, absolutely horrendous. But they were predicted on this program, we predicted them. We said as the bushfires were raging around the Sunshine Coast, around the Harvey Bay Coast in places like 1770 and Agnes Water last year, we were saying that all the predictions are very plain. There will be an awful bushfire season in southern New South Wales, an awful bushfire season in country Victoria and sadly it was proved to be true. And in Canberra tonight, well, a state of emergency has been declared by the ACT government, and rightly so. What a dreadful, dreadful bushfire emergency that's unfolding in that Namunji State Forest area. But, of course, most of those fires were caused by one thing, and that is by arsonists, by people who went and deliberately lit them for whatever fun, whatever jolly that they wanted to take on. But as I said, months ago, we were saying there's going to be a bad bushfire. There's going to be a bad bushfire season. There were going to be problems everywhere. But here in this country, our constitution says that states are responsible for land management, that states should have been the ones that were ploughing the kind of breaks that we want, and we're now seeing the Prime Minister talking about doing, between big tracts of forest. We should have been seeing the backburning, the hazard reduction, whatever you want to call it. I think we all know what we mean. We were talking on this program last year about six foot high, six, two metre high thickness of undergrowth that were in so many of these national parks that used to be state forests, that used to be tended, that used to be looked after, that used to be harvested for the timbers that were within it. And now so many of those are cremated. We've also got the Sir Humphreys completely in control of dealing with the response to that. Bureaucrats are plenty. They said to the Prime Minister, you know, Prime Minister, everyone's angry at you because you went off to Hawaii. I had no problem with the Prime Minister going away on an overseas holiday. He's a father first, after all, but he should have been right up front and people in his office shouldn't have played games, but that's weeks ago. And I want the Prime Minister to know that we all want him to get on with his job, but the reality is we've now got the bureaucrats who are doing what they do best, and that is admiring the problem and then saying, look, here's a little bit of salve, here's a little bit of form to fill in here and form to fill in there and a bit of an inspection there and inspection there. Nothing is necessarily going to radically change until there is change. And the kind of change the Prime Minister is now trying to get through this Royal Commission, yes, another inquiry, but the plan is to give him the rules, the powers that the states don't seem to want to use. I don't like mission creep. I don't like the Canberra bureaucracy getting more involved in our lives and in our faces because I just don't know whether it's really the way we want it to be. And moreover, the state governments tend to say, you know what, and we'll have uh, ten times as many people in our bureaucracies as you've got in the feds, because they're the kind of numbers, and we'll take some, you know, more mission creep of our own. We're going to have government more and more in our lives. That's where we're kind of at right now, as I said, managing the de decline.